You are listening to WTUZ Radio Podcast. WTUZ Radio Podcast. I am your host, Rhonda, and today is actually what they are calling the new year, but it is a calendar new year. And we'll do a future podcast on the illusion of time. Uh, But today's topic, I want to put out a disclosure ahead of time. If you are sensitive to the topic of uh, woman against man, man against woman, uh, a male patriarch dominated society, you might as well click off right now. This one isn't for you. Although this topic will be more on the extinction of the Y chromosome. Okay. So I do want to put that disclaimer out early. If that is a sensitive topic for you on the dominance of the patriarch system, then this isn't the podcast for you. Uh, So we're going to get a little bit into the extinction of the Y chromosome. And just a little background, how I came upon this topic. Uh, I had someone, and I don't even see that sis anymore. I'm going to have to track her down on Facebook. Uh, We were connected and she's in the UK. I want to say London. I forget what specific area of London she's in, but she was reading a book about the extinction of the Y chromosome. And so I said, huh, that's interesting. So I just so happened to order that book. It's probably going on two years now. And I started reading it, and and it's dry, y'all. I'm not finna sit up here and lie. The one book is Adam's Curse, The Science That Reveals Our Genetic Destiny by Brian Skies. It's very scientific. Uh, And he gives a lot, a lot of his personal background. And he does take quite a while to get to the main point. Hence is why I didn't finish the entire book. I literally had to skip around and get the meat. Uh, I also ordered another book and I can't find it. That's how many books I have, (laughs) everyone. So this topic has been on my mind for quite a bit, and I decided this year to do a podcast for us to talk about it. You know, what does it really mean? What are they talking about, uh, etc. So, like I always like to do when I first come upon a topic of discussion, I like to kind of research the origins of the words that are involved as the adjectives or or the description of that word <clears throat> or the action of the word, uh, verb. All right, so uh, we're going to do chromosome. So chromosome is a German word uh, from 1889 coined uh, in 1888 by a German antimus, Willenheim Hartz, okay, from a Latinized form of Greek. So really it's Greek, y'all. Out of all of that, they going up the corner around the block. <laughs> Chromosome is really derived from a Latin form of Greek, so I still say Latin, meaning chromo, which is color, which I found interesting, but once I started digging into this topic, it made sense why they call it chromosome, and we'll get to that in in a little bit. Uh, So-called because the structure contains a substance that stains 
readily with basic dyes. Okay. So what I want to discuss on this topic of the extinction of the Y chromosome over the last hmm, couple years, there has been articles coming out on the slide um, in different magazines and publication about the decline of the Y chromosome, or not even so much the decline, but actually and literally the extinction of the Y chromosome. So I'm going to start the first article. This is out of physics dot org or they call it phys dot org. Uh, this came out July 13, 2020. The Y chromosome is disappearing. What will happen to men? The Y chromosome may be a symbol of masculinity, but it is becoming increasingly clear that is anything but strong and enduring. Although it carries the master switch gene, SRY, that determines whether an embryo will develop as a male or female. Okay, so basic biology, you know, of course, I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, but we should know that the XX chromosome is female. The XY is male, okay? So that is why they are saying that the man determines the sex of a child. I'm fenced to say that again, okay? Those of you that know me know I'm country with a K. So I'm finna and fixing it to say that again. The determination of gender of a baby is based on the male because he carries the XY, okay? Because the woman, she already has the XX, right? So if it's going to be a boy, he has to bring in the Y, all right? And then... Of course, they say the other X as well. Okay, so um, now this is the part where I say that folks get a little sens sensitive when we get into the whole patriarch system and society. And when you really get down to the chromosome level, it gets deep. Okay, deeper than what they want to teach you in school because it totally shatters the concept of a male patriarch society. All right, so here's the next sentence. I'll reread the, the, a little bit of the other one before I go into the next controversial sentence. Okay, so the male, the master gene switch that determines whether an embryo will develop as a male XY or female XX. It contains very few other genes and is the only chromosome not necessary for life. Okay? Women, after all, manage just fine without one. What's more, the Y chromosome has degenerated rapidly, leaving females with two perfectly normal X chromosomes, but males with an X and a old Y. If the same rate of degeneration continues, the Y chromosome has just 4.6 million years left before it disappears completely. 
This may sound like a long time, but it isn't when you consider that life has existed on the earth for 3.5 million years. All right, so that was a heavy loaded couple of sentences there. So let's take a step back. So first of all, now this, this is just going back to basic biology, but even with this said, a lot of people get sensitive at this topic. The fact that the why, just in size, if you look at it um, down, look at it through a microscope level, you can see where the X chromosome is at least twice the size of the Y chromosome. And the Y chromosome, even under that microscope, appears a little misshapen within itself. Now, some say, some would say that the Y chromosome itself is a derivative or a misshapen or a broken off X chromosome. All right. We'll get a little deep into deeper into that. All right. So the other part of this that is interesting are they are saying that the Y chromosome is degenerating and they're putting a time span on it of 4.6 million years before it disappears completely. So, and then they're admitting as any credible or halfway decent credible uh, science will date planet Earth in the millions of years, not this 6,000 religious year crap, okay? So I'm not going to steal the rest of the thunder. Let me read the rest of the article because we're, we're going to get into more about the XX. All right, so the Y chromosome hasn't always been like this. If we rewind the clock to 166 million years ago, to the very first mammal, the story was completely different. The early proto-Y chromosome was originally the size of the X chromosome and con contained all the same genes. However, Y chromosomes have a fundamental flaw. Unlike all other chromosomes, which we have two copies of each in our cells, Y chromosomes are only ever presented as a single copy passed from fathers to their sons. This means that Genes on the Y chromosomes cannot undergo genetic recombination. The shuffling of genes that occurs in each generation, which helps to eliminate damaging gene mutation. Deprived of the benefits of recombination, Y chromosome genes degenerate over time are, and are eventually lost from the genome. Woo! All right, y'all, I got to sip some water behind this. <laughs> so, the Y chromosome does not make a copy of itself. So we're going to put this into just simple computer form. And we're just, that's what we're going to use as the analogy. So let's say you have your computer and we're going to keep this really, really simple. You're typing in Microsoft Word. You didn't work real hard on this document. It's just laid out. You got years worth of research on this. X, Y, Z, one, two, three, four, five. And that document gets corrupted. Sometimes you can recover the document. Sometimes you can't. 
What's the safest way to ensure that all of your information that you had created in that document is recovered? Isn't that to make a backup copy of that document? So back in the day, we know there used to be something called backup which we probably should still do. And I'm guilty. I got the little zip drive, but I'm not disciplined to back up my stuff. And maybe this is just a reminder that I need to get my mess together and back up my stuff where you had to, to listen to this episode in its entirety, go to anchor.fm forward slash WTUZ radio. Again, that's anchor.fm forward slash WTUZ Radio, and the link is in the description. Thank you, and peace and love.